Yeah, I got my uh, first thing that I can think of that I would like to talk about and get advice kicking on this and give my advice. Um, one of the questions for somebody else's channel was, why do people who go to jail come out jacked as fuck? Um, I, I agree and disagree with some things. Um, one of the things the guy said was, you know, outside in the real world, you know, you have choices to go do whatever you want. In jail, you only have so many choices. They feed you when they want to feed you. You, um, you sleep when you want to sleep um, and stuff like that. When you sleep, that is true. No matter what, you're going to have to go to sleep at the right times unless you like to kick it in the dark, which nobody really does. Um, but as, as far as the eating schedule, that is not true. If you have money, you could eat whatever the fuck you want. Um, and you could eat at 2, 3 in the morning, if you so choose. Um, but it, it's all about options. Now, you could choose to eat fucking, you know, batch or something like that, which is just a, a concoction of, of horrible things for you. Or you could choose to eat tuna fish, you know. Um, how, what you choose to do is up to you. But I will say... When it comes to motivation, when it comes to what you can eat, when it comes to when you can work out and who you want to work out with, when it comes to basically that whole aspect of regimen, motivation, these guys have nothing but time. So, like when I was in jail, I would wake up first thing in the morning on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I would play handball from about 7 a.m. till about 5 p.m., sometimes 6, depending on whether it got dark or not. And I mean this, I would play all day long, which I don't know if you ever played handball, but it's a very, I, I just had the option to. And since I didn't want to do drugs and I wanted to change my life, I chose to play handball and work out. Um, and I did get huge for somebody who's never worked out before, you know. Um, I was playing handball and stuff like that three days a week, um, sometimes four if they let us go on Sunday. And it was awesome. Because I had the choice to, because I had the time. I didn't have to worry about bills. He said something about this, and this is true. And Jill, you don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about a damn thing if you if you don't want to. You just have to worry about getting the shit kicked out of you, someone trying to take what you have, um, or doing the wrong thing and catching more time. You know. So, and, and there are drugs you have to worry about too. If you if you want to do drugs, you can get them. If you don't want to do drugs, you don't have to. No one's gonna stuff them down your throat. You know. Um, shits cost money. If people are trying to stuff drugs down your throat, show them your indigen. You know. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, and then what I would do is, is that Monday through Saturday, every night, every night, I would work out chest and tries, I guess, I would do 32 push-ups, for eight weeks straight I did this, I would do 32 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, and I'd walk one time around the yard, and then I would do 31 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, walk one time, and I would go all the way down to one. That's like 500 and something push-ups. And I would do that at the end. I was doing that in like 39, 42 minutes, okay? Um, but I had time to do that every single day, you know? And that's the difference. Like, I know people are, are, like, have questions about, well, how can they work out the same muscles? And do they have free weights? And, you know, why is it they come out? Well, the real reason is, is one, they don't even have, really, they don't have free weights no more. It's mostly Nautilus. Two, or push-ups. Two, um, everybody there has the option of wanting to get in shape and be jacked. And they're all going to spend the next one to five years together, you know. Um, you know, so you make buddies. You get great workout partners. And there's more than one. You know, people, people are all trying to get jacked in there if you hang out with those types of people. Um, and three, like, they force you to sleep at a certain time. So you get – you if you want to – you're given for free, no worry, so you can sleep when you want to, and you get the amount you need. Free food, so they give, and, and they have protocols. They have to meet certain expectations when they feed you, and it is at the same time every day without fail. It is at the same time every day, um, and, you know, they give you medicine, too. You need fish oil, something like that. You just say what it is that's wrong with you, and they give it to you, you know? So if you choose to, you can have all those things. You know, and you can sneak things in like water bags, you know, say you're cleaning out your room, you need a trash bag, you go take that trash bag and or you take two and it just depends on how slick you are, you know, um, and you take those trash bags, fill them up with water and you start working out. But really, they don't have free weights no more. Uh, my personal opinions on the people who do this, they're making the best of their time. They know they made a mistake. They got, oh, let's say someone, you know, is, is an addict. They uh, break into somebody's house, 
you know, make the wrong choice so they can get by, um, and, and they get caught, and they fa they're facing five years. They take their five years, you know. If that ever happened to me, that's what I would do. I'd take my five years. Um, and they look at, they can look at it like this. I'm going to go, I, I can't believe I'm here. Why am I here? I got fucked, blah, 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 blah. You can think of it like this. I got smoked. Um, or you can think of it like this. Here's a time where, you know, if you did it, you know what you did wrong, you know. Some circumstances aren't cool. You get somebody who tells on you something like that. That ain't cool. But circumstances, you know, they're bad. Either way, they're bad. And you can blame it on everybody else. Or you can blame it on yourself. And what you do after you fall down is what is what counts. You know, when you when you make a horrible choice, it's what you do after that counts. So you do your time and you look at it like I want to change my body. That's how I saw it. I wanted to change my body. Um, and I, and I think I'll, I think I'll find out how to put two pictures up so I can show you. I have to do it again because I got lazy. But I wanted to change my body, so I ate tuna fish all the time. I ate peanut butter, oatmeal, I did the Atkins for like a month and a half, that helped. Um, and then I just worked out and played handball. And trust me, at first it was hard. And you know, right off the rip I didn't even do it because I didn't know if that was the way I was going to go. And uh, I really got into weightlifting uh, and working out and it was something I wanted to continue. That's the way I ended up going. But um, I hung out with people who also wanted to work out and play handball. And basically I would read books and this is what most of them do, they read books play handball or some kind of physical activity. I'm not talking about, you know, prisons you see on TV like fucking San Quentin. I don't know if what, what they're allowed to do or shit like that, but where I was, you know, most people I saw read books, ate right, get up in the morning for leisure time. They'd either watch TV or play cards, probably play cards or poker or something. And they just had nothing but time, and that's my point. So on the real world, you have bills, you have worries, you have all this stuff, plus you want to get big. I mean, like, even Jay Cutler, that motherfucker has nothing but time to get big. That's what he, he gets paid to do. He still has outside things he has to worry about. You know, he has to make his own meals. He has to do everything. When you're in jail, you can dedicate all your time in jail to one thing, and that's working out. That's why, my friend, when guys get out of jail, when guys get out of jail and they're fucking ripped the fuck up, that's the choice they made. They, they chose to get fucking ripped, and they had five years to do it. You work out every day and not have to worry about have one worry in the world, and you work out every day for five years. I don't care who you are. You are going to be ripped the fuck up. So, all right, man. That's my opinion on this uh, subject. Uh, I'd love to hear yours, man. Leave, leave a comment, question. Please subscribe. Um, any answers I could help you out with, just ask me. All right, man. Uh, ask Abraham at New England. Yeah. Let me see if I can find something funny. Hold on now. Hold on now. No? All right. Water phase. New England. I went to jail and worked out. Yeah. <laughs>